Welcome, I'm Tom Jones. Welcome to one of my free art lessons. I hope that you're going to enjoy this one. This is an exciting one for me to do for you. I'm going to demonstrate how to do a waterfall. Not just any waterfall. This happens to be the waterfall at Yellowstone National Park, the famous uh, lower falls, they call it. And I'm going to show you an easy way to approach waterfalls. You're going to like this particular lesson plan, so let's get started. I'm going to go to my palette, and I'm going to pull up a little bit of cerulean blue, and I'm going to mix it with just a little bit of cobalt blue. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it with just a touch, slight touch, of hooker green. And I'm not going to put the hooker green in immediately, but I want to have it available on the side of the area that is going to be the blue uh, colors that I have out here, such as cerulean blue and cobalt blue. But I'm going to add a little touch of green to this. You'll see how I do it. I've got my three-quarter inch brush, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here at the top of the waterfall, and I'm simply going to drag this color down. Now notice how I've left a lot of white space in this particular waterfall area here. I didn't paint it solid. See how I'm just dragging that brush? You want to make sure that you make this look very realistic, and this is how you do it. You simply take your brush and drag it across the paper very slowly, leaving that white space. Let me go back and grab just a little bit more of a touch of maybe some green, and we'll put a touch of green next to it. It may be hard for you to see right now, but there is a certain amount of green going on that particular paper. Now what I'll do is I'll continue and maybe get just a little darker. I'll come down and put a couple of areas that are just a little darker. Again, just dragging that brush. See how simple that was? Now when I get down close to the bottom of the falls, I want to show you how to create some mist. Remember, typically when you have a waterfall with that crashing water, you're going to have some mist where the water is hitting. So I'm going to show you how to create that also. So I'm just going to take my brush with water on it now and just soften this area at the bottom. Watch how I do that. Again, I'm just stirring that particular brush. Again, much like I stir maybe gravy in a skillet if you want and just a little touch of mist that I'm creating here. See how I'm doing that with just a little bit of color. I'm also going to come back and I'm going to identify the sides of the waterfall area where the rocks are so that you can better see this particular uh, waterfall. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of water from this particular spray bottle and I'm just going to touch, I'm going to just touch a couple of the edges of where that mist is. The water interacting with the paint will create a looseness to it. So that's all I'm doing, just a couple of touches here and there. And then I've got my mist that's coming up. Let's bring this mist down just a little farther. And this is exactly the scene. If you were to be at Yellowstone, this is exactly what you would see. And this is what I saw when I did my workshop there about two years ago with 22 students. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and I'm going to paint some of the darker area of the rocks above and to the side of it and then you'll see this watercolor waterfall come out and also what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more darks into that color there to give you a little bit more depth to that waterfall. So let me take a moment. We're going to pick up, oh, maybe a little bit of our uh, rose color, a little bit of my uh, ultramarine blue deep and I'll simply come into this side over here and we'll start putting in some color on this side. Now I don't want to get too mauve, so I'm going to add just a little bit of green, a little bit of blue, and I'm using my hooker green deep blue, I mean uh, hooker green deep, uh, and then also my ultramarine blue deep in this case to get a nice dark color. So look how I'm putting this color right next to that waterfall, which will actually accentuate this waterfall and you'll see it jump out. Now this scene I've actually painted several times and it's a popular scene and it's a popular uh, place for people to go to when they go to Yellowstone is to go to the lower falls. So that's how I've painted this side. Now let's take the other side. I'll come back and maybe I'll change it slightly. I won't have it quite as uh, green and so forth. I'll come over here and maybe do this. Oh, let's change it to maybe a little sienna. Let's do it that way and then I'll add a little bit of uh, some of my quinacridone rose and then some of my ultramarine blue deep and let's do this slightly different on this side. So we'll have a little different look on this side so they're not quite exactly
the same. Just continue on. Now, I'll change color again. Let's take a little bit of green and let's throw a little green into the magic here so that we have a little bit of difference. Now you can see how this particular waterfall is starting to be showcased now with the darks next to it. I'm not going to paint all the way across here, but I just want to show you an easy way of doing this. Now what I'll do where the mist is, I'll come around to the top of it and we'll just have a little bit of an edge so that you can see that mist a little better. What I'm doing is I put some color there, now I'm going to take some tissue and just soften part of that edge. Let me get another piece of tissue out. And what we want to do is just take and soften some of that edge where that darker color meets where the mist is in the waterfall. And that's all it needs to have is just that little bit of touch just like that. Now, what I want to do is I want to come in, I want to add some more darks over here, but before I do that, let's go ahead and put a top to this. Up above, there's a sort of a mountain up here, so let's go ahead and identify that area of mountain up here at the top, and then you'll start to see where this water is coming down over this particular falls. A cute little story to go along with this, there are stairs that you can take to the bottom of the falls. The sign says 376 steps down, 3,760 steps up. They were right. It's a lot harder going back up than going down. I'm going to come across the top with the edge, and you can see now where this waterfall is going to start at the top and then come down. So there's a little bit of a mountain area back there. But the lesson plan is not about all of the outside of this, this part, this part, and this part. It's really about the waterfall. So let's go ahead and take and add some of uh, dynamics to that with uh, maybe some enhanced darks. We want, don't want to get too green in there, so we'll add a little blue back into our color. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just come in and drag my brush and create a little bit darker look to a couple of areas of the particular waterfall itself. And tell me now, isn't that realistic? Isn't that great? See how easy that is? A little more. Uh, on this side over here, a little more touch over on this side. Don't overdo it now with the darks. Just a little bit goes a long way. One other thing I'm going to do that will help showcase this, and that's all we'll need to do. The tissues are ideal because it gets you out of a lot of trouble. I call it my insurance policy because if I need to soften or pick up excess colors, I can do that rapidly. Now, let me do one other thing. I'm going to grab my number eight round brush, this brush right here, and I'm going to come in and I'm going to put some little stronger darks along the edge of the waterfall just to highlight that just a little bit more. Watch what I do. If you were to see the uh, waterfall itself, you'll notice that it is, in fact, a little darker along the edges I'm doing right here. See how it showcases now. Let me come back and do the other side. I'm trying to keep my hands out of the wet paint here as much as possible. But watch how I do this now. Just a little touch of color along the edge of this waterfall. And all of a sudden it accentuates that waterfall. Let the colors blend away. Don't try to stop them. You don't want a hard edge there. Just let them blend away a little bit. And that's exactly how it looks. That's how simple it is to paint this particular waterfall scene. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson plan. Thanks for joining me.